What's going on, Muscle Monsters? Alain Gonzalez here, and in this video, we are going to talk about my top three ab exercises. Now, before we jump into that, let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, the function of the abs. And just to be clear, we're talking about the rectus abdominis, the superficial muscle of the core, aka the coveted six pack. Okay, we know that the main function is to flex and extend the spine, right? But another little known function is to stabilize the spine as well. So whenever we're bracing our core under a heavy squat, we are in fact training the core, but also the rectus abdominis is getting some stimulus. This is why a lot of guys will tell you that you don't actually have to train the abs directly, okay? But that's a similar mindset to you don't have to train your biceps directly if you are doing pull-ups or any kind of pulling movement, okay? Essentially, you can build your abs without direct training. However, you wouldn't not train your biceps directly and likewise, if you wanna maximize uh, the development of your six pack, then you probably should do some direct work, okay? The next thing is, the rectus abdominis is a muscle and like any other muscle, you need to train it with the same principles, specifically progressive overload. If you are not getting stronger at these movements, then you will not change the muscle, right? You will not build the muscle. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Exercise number one, decline crunch, specifically weighted. When you're performing this exercise, I want you to do a couple of things. Number one, I want you to go slow on the negative. Okay, I want you to really brace your core on the eccentric portion of that lift. On top of that, I don't want you to lay all the way back. I want you to stop just shy of laying on the bench so that you're keeping constant tension on the abs before you initiate the lift. This is an exercise that again, you can load and thus you can progressively overload the muscle. So I would use either a plate, a dumbbell or kettlebell to load this exercise and then slowly progress from there. Exercise number two, the hanging leg raise. I like this exercise because it focuses a bit more on the bottom abs or the lower abdominals and that's not something you're going to get effectively from many other movements, especially movements that you can load. The way you're going to load this one is simply by putting dumbbells in between your feet. So maybe start off with a two and a half pounder and then work your way up from there. This exercise is not about the hips, right? It's about the crunch. And so what I want you to focus on when you're bringing your legs up is getting your knees to your chest, okay? Because if we're only doing the hip motion, we're not actually contracting the abs effectively. And exercise number three, the cable crunch. This is one of my favorite exercise uh, for a few reasons. Number one, you're going to get a full extension of the abs so you can train them from their weakest position. Number two, you can shorten the hell out of them, right? So you're gonna get a nice tight contraction. And then number three, you're gonna be able to, again, like the other two, progressively overload. And whenever you're doing this exercise um, and you're getting stronger, you are going to be building core strength and the muscles themselves. There you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you scroll down below into the description, I've laid out an entire ab workout routine that you can use. Do that two, three, or even four times a week if you wanna build your abs using these exercises, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.